You ever get tired of the endless amount of clutter on your phone? Well, File Navigator is an incredible app that allows you to set things up so that your phone organizes files automatically for you. So for example, instead of just having every single file that I ever download filling up my downloads folder, I can instead use File Navigator to set things up so that downloaded files get sorted into different folders based on their file types. That means instead of my downloads folder looking like this, now it looks like this. All right, second up today, we have the brand new Google Weather app that was meant to launch exclusively with Android 15 and the Pixel 9 devices, but we can now get it on pretty much any phone thanks to the good folks over at APK Mirror. And look, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know how I'm feeling about this new redesign in comparison to the previous Frog Weather version, but there are definitely a few components about this new app that I am a big fan of. The first is just how clean it is. I mean, we've seen third-party attempts at Google-inspired weather apps in the past, but this one is just so material design friendly that it's now easily the best of the lot. And then secondly, I love that this app offers customization flexibility. Like, check this out. Everything from this 10 day forecast section and under, you can actually long press and drag around as though it was a home screen setup. I never knew I needed this feature in a weather app, but I've got to say, I kind of love it. Let's just hope that if Google is planning to use this app to replace the previous version, that they bring back the amazing frog and live weather animations and that they add in some neat widgets as well. Because in all honesty, the app is just a little too basic for my liking right now. After that is Notes. And if you've ever wondered what a Notes app designed by the Nothing Software team would look like, well, I reckon Notes would be pretty darn close. It is a super simple app. You've got this main interface here for viewing all of your created notes, which you can easily sort through by selecting between your created categories up here. And then as far as actually making notes, well, it's also a very simple interface. On top of the basics, you can also add various list formats and embed images, which is nice. And what was a very cool surprise was that they've also given us a feature that lets us lock notes behind passwords or biometric authentication, which is super useful. It's also completely open source, which I love. Following that is another open source app called Paperize. This app lets you really easily set your phone's wallpaper to change automatically at specific time intervals. You just use the app to create a library of images that you like, then back on this wallpaper page, you select your created library. And then below that, you've got a bunch of settings that you can adjust, including the time interval for when the wallpapers should change. And you can even add a wallpaper brightness and blur setting, which is pretty neat. And that's it. From there on out, your wallpapers will change automatically according to the settings that you've set up. And while we're on the topic of customization, another app that adds a subtle but neat amount of flair to your phone, specifically when it's charging, is Bubbly. With this app set up and activated, anytime you plug your phone into charge, it'll show you this little bubble animation overlay to simulate your phone's battery getting filled up. There's also some settings that you can tweak, including swapping out the bubbles to these emoji style icons, which I personally think is a bit much, but it's a great little app that I'm sure a bunch of you will find a heap of fun. Okay, halfway through the list and possibly one of the most frustrating parts about transferring data from an old device to a new device is that more often than not, most of the data from the apps installed on your phone, it doesn't get transferred across. Now, if you've got a rooted device, then there are a couple of great apps that have been around for a long time that allow you to back up and transfer this data, which is great. But if we're being honest, most of them have very outdated designs, making it hard to figure out how to actually do it. Well, Data Backup is an amazing open source application that has been around for less than a year that not only has a much improved design, but it also simplifies the backup process a huge amount. Now, just like any app that allows you to backup and restore app data, Data Backup does also require root access, but if your phone fits the bill, then you get three main options here, but it's this top app option that is gonna be the most useful. You just tap on backup, then select any app that you wanna back up. Then you just tap this arrow icon, then this next arrow icon. And just like that, all of those selected apps and their respective data will be backed up and you can then restore them to that exact state on whichever device that you're wanting to restore them on as long as it's also rooted. It is an incredibly useful tool. I just wish that there was a way for the app to use Shizuku or ADB to perform the backup process instead because having this tool available on non-rooted devices as well would be a serious game changer. Then we have Flow EQ, a really clean material design based application that allows you to enhance the audio quality from your phone. 
You get this 12 band equalizer at the top here, which you can adjust manually if you like, or there's also a bunch of presets available as well. Then you've also got a heap of audio enhancements below that too, like this bass boost function. There's also a loudness function if you wanna increase the volume of your phone speakers. Plus there's a few other tweaks as well. And what's even cooler is that the app will actually remember the settings that you've set up for each of your different output devices and will apply them automatically whenever they change. And staying in the audio world for a minute, and next up is Volume Lock, which is a really handy app that gives you more control over the audio coming out of your phone. So let's say your phone speakers are fine, but they start distorting if they go above a certain level, or let's say you've got a kid who listens to audiobooks on your phone, but you don't want them turning up the volume to full blast, or let's say that your phone's volume keys are buggered and keep turning the volume down, even if you don't want them to. Well, you can use this app to either completely lock the volume sliders to a set level, or you can also set a range of between two volume levels, and those settings will stay locked no matter what else is happening with your phone. All right, second to last today is screen stream. And if you've ever found yourself wanting to cast your phone screen to a computer, then this is the app for you. It's got a super clean material-based design, and then it offers two modes for streaming. A local mode, which works really well if both of your devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, or there's also this global mode, which you can use irregardless of what network each device is connected to. And that's kind of it, but by golly does it work well, and I can see this being incredibly useful in the future. And so finally today, we have a beautifully designed app called Calmeria. And amidst a world that can often be incredibly fast paced and stressful, this is an app designed to help. You just tap this big circle here in the middle, and from there, the app will guide you through a breathing exercise, which is designed to help you relax. There's also a bunch of different breathing exercise presets as well, or you can even create your own if you like. And alongside the incredible design, you'll also see these super clean animations and you'll feel some subtle haptics and vibrations as you complete the exercises as well. And so there's no denying that the app does a really great job of creating an immersive and relaxing experience. And so that's it, 10 incredible applications that are well worth checking out this month. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But that's it, thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.